thank you all for coming out tonight. And I have to acknowledge that we're on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish people. This is the territory of the Squamish, the Tsleil-Waututh, and the Musqueam people. So, um, beautiful territory.
here's the song I never recorded. It's kind of a old song. Uh, 
However, I grew up in Windsor, Ontario, of all places, because my dad ended up there working in a car factory. So I really, um, I grew up with some culture, but not any songs. So uh, I started my journey learning traditional singing under the mentorship of Sadie Buck. She's a Nida from Six Nations back east. And um, she had a 10-week residency at the Banff Center for the Arts aimed at urban Aboriginal women who did not grow up with their oral traditions. And she brought elders from all over Turtle Island, which is what we call North America, right? based on some creation of Plains people's creation stories. And so that began my journey. That was back in 1995. And I've since worked with many language speakers who've taught me, and traditional singers, power singers. And um, I'm, I feel really grateful for that, because obviously that's my my heritage, so. So that we have two kinds of songs. We have social and we have ceremonial. So the protocol in our music is such that I don't have permission to sing the sacred ceremonial songs. Um, so everything you're gonna be hearing tonight uh, are social songs. I'm gonna start off with the morning song. It's the Cree morning song. It's a really, really old song. And one is God. So what I'm singing is, wake up. It's a beautiful day, like today, right? It's a great day today. So wake up, the, um, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, it's beautiful throughout our land. and stuff like that. People wouldn't laugh at the jokes, and then I finally realized, I have to tell you, our humor isn't mean. 
That's the big difference between our humor and dominant society. We never say things and go, oh, just kidding. We're not, we never hurt one another, right? It's all in good humor and good fun. And on that note, I'm going to tell you a story about an old grandpa had a horse. And the white guy comes along and he saw the, the old native guy's horse and he said, that's a nice looking horse. Why don't you sell me your horse? And the old Indian says, no, my horse don't look too good. The white guy goes, yeah, it looks good to me. Sell me your horse. No, I'm telling you, it don't look too good. Sell me your horse, okay. The next day, the white guy comes back and he says, you sold me a blind horse. And the old Indian says, I've been trying to tell you, he don't look too good. <laughs> like that, right? Um, I'm going to sing a little rattle song that I wrote with um, working with, um, who helped me on this one? Hang on a second. Joseph Nathahau, he's a Cree guy from, uh, he lives in Saskatoon. As I said, I work with different language speakers also when I try to create songs. So what I'm singing is, this is a prayer, this is how we pray, we make offerings to Mother Earth. This is a prayer, this is how we pray, we make offerings to our ancestors. just means woman in Cree. And we went and did some shows over in Europe. And uh, for all of you that have been over there, as you know, you can bring your dogs. Hi, Brenda. As you know, you can bring your dogs anywhere. Fine dining, wherever, right? So the very first show we did, we did it in um, Berlin, in this underground bar. And at the end of the song, we all start hooting and hollering, and some guy has a German Shepherd out there, and the dog just starts out howling and yowling. It was really funny. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Couple more? Okay, good. I'll do one on my drum. Wanna hear another drum? Uh, let's see. I gotta find a good one. Okay, there's three guys. There's a Mohawk guy, there's a Nishka, Nishka guy, and a Cree guy. Of course, there's going to be a Cree in my joke, because I'm a Cree. All right, so they all like the same cute little girl, right? And she says, well, I'll go out with whoever can make the best sentence with the words liver and cheese. So the Mohawk guy says, I hate liver, but I love cheese. And the Nishka guy says, I love liver, but I hate cheese. And the Cree guy says, liver alone, cheese mine. <laughs> So, I think we know who got the day. <laughs> that play, it's true. I've got my eye on you because of the way you carry yourself.
I've got one more, is that okay? One more. I'd like to invite Krista to get up here and play the drum. Krista Kitcher, where are you? Call me Krista. Come up here and play my drum, please. Okay. I didn't prearrange this with her, so I didn't know she may have said no. Sorry, I'm going to have to move this a little. 
see what happens. Uh, Graham Stewart, up on sound tonight. Not the official start. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad to be here too. She's called my name on a special floor. The other windows open. They're marching to frozen. Other than her skin, she was warm. The boy that lives inside her is like this bird. Uh, so that's an old song, and I 
should probably know it a little better and not get so confused halfway through. Uh, and this is a new song. I'm starting with a couple of songs just to like get that over with and then my signature sad songs. <laughs>
Victoria, and there was um, an article in the paper that the Times called this interview. Um, but I thought with a journalist named Mike Devlin, it was a really thoughtful conversation, and I've been doing a lot of interviews this week, and they all kind of sound the same. But he was, uh, for me, actually inspiring. <laughs> and uh, But anyway, some of the cool things about that article is that I then got an email from my high school English teacher who had seen it. <laughs> And, and wrote to me that you know that it was great or he liked it something nice and um, I, I realized that it was like part of me was like still gunning for an A plus. It was like oh, thank you, Mr. Smith. Thank you. I hope you like the album. Um, <laughs> so that was nice. And um, speaking of high school, um, I was in a high school production of the Three Penny Opera. I don't know if there's many Kurt Weill and Kurt Weill fans. Okay. So, you know, a challenging piece for high school students, it's strange, but um, I love the music, and I was, um, I think, beggar number two, and uh, very proud of my role, and of course I really wanted to be um, Polly Peachum, because she's, uh, she gets to sing which one of the, uh, anyways, well, she's the star, <laughs> so I wanted that part, did not get that part. stories I might tell if I was in the business of such things. And uh, so, partly, thanks a lot.
All right, I'm going to play another new song. It's called Lovely Like You, and I encourage you to take it personally. No 
speakers. I don't even want to ask if there are. Don't tell me. Um, but there's this expression that I was, I was told. Je suis aux oiseaux. I'm with the birds. I'm among the birds. And my understanding when I wrote the song was that meant that I was like, it's like a kind of happy, a sort of like heartedness, like happy. And Eddie, I'm looking at you. French speaker, no, don't tell me. I'm wrong. Um, and I played a house concert last week and said this, and the guy was like, well, it sort of means flighty. <laughs> Um, so we'll go with the lighthearted happiness. <laughs> and uh, you know, this this album, um, it's called Long Time Leaving because it's about the time that it can take to make change, or even when you make a decision, you see how long it took you to get there. And uh, my it's my fourth album, and my albums before it were uh, not necessarily sad albums, but they <laughs> did dig into some, some pretty sad things and loss and longing and some, uh, I think, exceptional experiences. So I really wanted to make an album that, for me, would not make me cry and, and hopefully not make you cry and that it would be fun making it and maybe it could be fun just to <laughs> listen to it. You don't have to like lie there and feel it it's so deeply. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there's, there's a song, I didn't play, but there's a song on the album that says, you know, like, hold on. And then this song, I mean, forgive me, this song says don't give up. I mean, it's a kind of hopefulness that I have not really put in my work before. But I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of glad that it's there. So um, this is about, well, this is about us. And it's about being in it together. Um, so once again, I'm so glad that we got to do this together tonight. Thank you for choosing to be here tonight and to do this with me and with Sandy and with Kickstart and with Graham and with Liz. She's doing a wonderful, beautiful job interpreting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So that's that. Um, I'm, I'm going to play this song and then I'm going to go stand up there where the merch is if you want to get the CD because I know there's also a few of you definitely that I want to say hi to and hug. There might be more of you that I want to say hi to and hug and I don't even know yet but, but I'll be there to do that. And what else? Is there anything else we need to say? Probably not. Closed, closed, closed The signs on the windows, they go We're closed, closed, closed And you, young thing, you better get home And I blush Young thing these days, not so much I feel old to hold 
guess what? We can. I'm glad that we're here in this dump. If together is all that we've got, it's enough for us not to give. Thank you for supporting both of these artists. Thank you for supporting Kickstart. Just have a great weekend, and thank you again.